All right, I'm going to start off with some code here. I'm going to do local i equals 3. Just name it i just to uh, be a little simple here. And then I'm going to type while i is greater than 0, do, hit enter, and we're going to have an end show up. So what a while loop does is it runs the code inside of it until the comparison between the while and the do is false. So, you know, you're you're taking an if statement and making a loop out of it, kind of. It's it's kind of like that. So, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to do i equals i minus 1. So, we're going to have i decrement by 1 every time it loops through this code. And then I'll do print i just to see what it looks like. And then we're going to wait 1. So, that wait is the wait function. And wherever you put as the argument is the number of seconds that it'll wait. So I could do like 0 0.5 or you know 25 seconds, but I'll just put one second just to make this uh, realistic. Then after the while loop, I'm going to do print go. So what this is, this is a basic countdown script. Uh, it'll count down from three, and then it'll print go. And let's see if it does that. Yep, there's two, one, zero, go. And so what that was doing is we had i equals three. It's going to start this loop. so i is greater than 0, so we're going to do i minus 1. Then we're going to print i, which was, you know, the 2. It's going to wait 1. And so it's going to go back up to that while. And if i is still greater than 0, it's going to keep repeating that code inside until i is not greater than 0. So while loops need some sort of yield, or else it'll time out the script and crash your studio for a bit. So what I uh, mean by this is while true do. Uh, do wait one. And I'll do a print uh, printing forever. So this right here, a while true do is a loop that goes on forever. As long as the script exists, it's going to keep going and going and going. So yeah, I can print run and it'll just print forever, printing forever every second. So if I take out this wait, what this is going to try and do is it is going to try and print this as fast as possible, as fast as this can do it. And it's going to overload really quick, and then it'll time out, your studio freezes, and yeah, it's, it's a mess. So always make sure you have some sort of yield inside of your while loops. A repeat until loop is pretty much the same thing as a while loop, except it's like backwards I guess that's how to put it so what I do is repeat and then uh, anything in between the repeat and the and the until is the code that gets ran and then right after the until is that comparison so I'm gonna do let's see uh, local I again equals zero and then I want to repeat I equals I plus one uh, until i is equal to 5 and make sure that we have our yield in there because this acts like a while loop so we're going to repeat this code we're going to repeat i equals i plus 1 wait 1 until i is equal to 5 so yeah this is basically a while loop you just uh, you have the code before it checks the comparison so yeah and then this will uh, count up. Uh, I should probably print that. Yeah, hold on. So I'm going to print I like that. Then it'll count up to five and probably stop. And so there's that. And then it'll continue on with the rest of the code. So that's just the basics of it. Um, like all of these other beginner tutorials, I'm just teaching basics because we'll be using these a lot more when you actually get into game development. So maybe I'll think of a project that I can do after I do a bit more of these beginner tutorials and then we can just use everything that we've learned and actually make something. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.